we had this expectation that we're going to flip a switch and then we get frustrated with ourselves when that's not how it happens. So there's a few pieces about behavior change that I think are really important for everybody to understand. And the first mm -hmm. piece is, as you were saying, like it's a process, right? That we replacing is easier than removing. But then even beyond that, we still think it's linear. Mm -hmm. And the reality is nothing in life is linear, right? Mm -hmm. And certainly not behavior change. So I wanna use your example of um, like late night eating. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's say right now you have dinner, maybe you even have dessert, maybe you don't, whatever. And then it's that me time. We're relaxing, we're hanging out, we're watching TV and it's like, I need something. Right. And we start to munch and then it becomes this thing where like we're doing it all the time and now all of a sudden like I'm a nighttime eater all the time. The first thing, is maybe we just swap it out. Right. Because I love your idea of swaps, but I want to get a little um, granular with it. Mm -hmm. because we can also progress in the swaps. So the first swap might be, let's just eat berries and chocolate chips, right? Or berries and the walnuts when we eat at night, right? A lot of people's instinct is to go from eating marshmallows, right? <laughs> or whatever their, their thing is, to then having nothing. And that's really hard. So the first thing is we're just going to swap it out for something that has a little bit more nutrition. Because okay. then you're going to get full and then you're going to see that you're really not hungry. You're just craving something else or some sort of Maybe. Relief. In time, we can make that connection. I think for a while, and you might stick with just that healthier snack at night for a while. And then you might realize, I don't really feel like eating the berries and the whatever, but I still want something, Right. And then maybe we switch to tea. Maybe we're then having tea. And then we're going, okay, here's the thing. What I'm actually looking for right now is a way to just sort of decompress. Yes. Maybe like mindless, you know, de-stress, do something else. Okay, well, what else could I do that does that, right? Maybe we want to read a book. I'm also not even going to say switch from the tea to the book. I'm going to say add the book to the tea. Right now, let's sort of put these things together. And then maybe in time you go, you know what? I don't even need the tea. I just want the book. Right. And I would think you would want potentially movement. You want to go for a walk. You want to clear your mind. You want to see a different space. Um, you want fresh air. Um, it could be. Yeah. Like I love, I'm a big proponent of a 10 minute walk after you eat. At times, especially for people who are those nighttime eaters, that can happen at 11 o'clock and they're not necessarily going to go out for a walk at 11 o'clock.